and today we'll discuss uh, more or like uh, a roll up summary okay so let's see when i say roll up summary let's get to account what is relationship between account and contact it's an look up relation it's not a look up but uh, it's be, i mean but it's an optional relationship right let me get to admin app so you can see if i want to create a new contact i can able to create without account account is not a required field it's an optional field right so let's say to create a roll up summary field we need a we need master detail relationship between two objects right but salesforce have a limitation that you cannot create a master detail relationship between standard objects you cannot create a master detail relationship between standard objects let's say if i go to new field in a way that if i navigate to salesforce setter object and look for contact fields and relationship new and we have a lookups but there are no master detail isn't it so this is why what we can do there is no other way of doing a valid i mean lookup relationship as a configuration so we can implement the same in a trigger okay let's get to object, account manager and i'll go to my account fields and relationships i'll create new field and i'll say this as a number next total contacts i'm creating one field as a total contacts visible next say total contacts right now as soon as how many contacts we have three contacts three so i should be seeing that three contacts if i create a new contact if i create a new contact then it should show four right so here when you need to increase your count as soon as your record successfully inserted or updated right now successfully inserted means it's a before or after and which record you are trying to modify contact so trigger is on contact on which events it's on after events yep for now first i'll write after insert first right and then we'll look from there so let's say so what i will do here i'll write like after insert even method so the method is private static void after insert so in this what and all i need to get first get account ids from contact right whatever the insert contacts we have we need to get account ids from that contact query accounts based on contacts and then update the total contact field 
in account based on contact size and next one perform dml operation so first we need to get account contacts how can i get that list first we need to get our uh, trigger instant variables right let me declare list contact new list equal to trigger dot new and now then we need to define set of id account id is equal to new set of id then if i need to add to set only if the account id is not null And then I need to query based on contacts, based on account ID. Sorry, this should be account IDs, right? Here, let's say list of account SSC list equal to select ID, comma name, comma total contacts from account where id in account ids now and then update total contacts field right i need to update this total contact field let's say can i could because this is a query and a parent object can i call my child object also here select id from contact So what we are doing, we are querying our parent object and we are also included a child object in our query and then we are executing, right? And then what we need to do later, for loop, account, SSC list and I will say, record dot total underscore contact underscore underscore c equal to record dot contacts dot size now what happened because this is inner field only why this is unable to find Schema is subjects on its okay. Let's refresh a subject definition. Looks like I forgot the field name. Let's get and see what is the field name. Total contacts. No, no, that's fine. This is fine. 
Now what happened? We got and then what we need to do? Update ESC list. Why we are running here? Because you are trying to modify here you are getting account record and you are modifying this record. Technically what is the source of this record? From here only right? So it will update here only. Like you remembered, uh, we discussed about pass by reference, pass by value through objects. Creating an object, if I modify anything on the object, it reflects to the source object, right? The same thing here, because it is coming from a list where these are the objects, record self is an object. So any changes even with that for loop variable, it reflects in the source data only. So you don't need to create another list to add these details, okay? And uh, this is my after insert, let's say copy and all you need to do, call this method. No more trigger changes required because that's how we set up our trigger model, right? It's just like, it will understand only Apex changes needed. That's the agenda that we thought. Looks like method does not exist after insert. Oh, this is bad. Deploy this to source arc. Now I'll go to my contacts or I'll cre create a contact from here. Sample admin and I'll say what should be the count here? Right? Let's say imagine if I delete it then see contacts can also get updated, right? I can edit and if I change to another account then it should be adjusted to 3 and Sam should update it to plus 1, right? So here we need to handle that old ID and new ID, isn't it? So this handling will be in your after triggers, after update triggers. So roll-up summary need to be implemented in every event, after insert, after update, after undeleted, and after release.